Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy AG, and it's finally E3 week. It's finally that time of year where we push aside the rumor mill and make way for the facts. So today we have the first of my string of big three conference predictions. Well, I guess it's big too since Nintendo won't be having a conference this year so I won't be making a video on them. But we still have Sony and Microsoft, both of which I'll be making prediction videos to, starting with Microsoft today in this one. Just so I don't lose anybody, the format that I'll be using for these predictions is pretty simple. First half of the video we'll be talking about games that we actually have a chance of seeing in the conference, while in the end half of the video I'll be trying to get a little bit more creative with my predictions, but I won't go too overboard, everything will still have a chance of being shown. Cool? Good. So for my first prediction, I'm pretty sure we'll see Microsoft open up strong with Gears of War 4. As a big Gears fan myself, I do hope we see something that gives us more of a reason to buy the game, more than it just being another installment into the franchise. Consumers really need a reason to pick up or hold on to their Xbox Ones. And if Microsoft comes with some fire this conference, starting with a good showing from Gears 4, I'm sure they could turn a few heads in their direction. After playing the Gears of War 4 beta, which I loved by the way, I couldn't help but feel the game was a lot of the same with minor changes here and there. At E3 I'd love for them to show off a new multiplayer mode or gameplay mechanic that adds a new layer of depth to the game so it feels fresh. Other than that I'll be cool with a bit of story info or gameplay from it. I just kinda want them to stay focused more on the multiplayer aspect. Oh, and if Microsoft really wants to push some Xbox One units they should probably announce that, that Gears 4 is a console exclusive and no PC ports. None of that dude. Personally I'm not against the PC PC ports but it kind of gives less incentive to get an Xbox One if you can get a better version on PC. So to keep the ball rolling from what Gears left off, I think Microsoft will follow up with Scalebound. If not after Gears, it's gonna appear somewhere in the conference. That game better appear. I'm no damn psychic, I'm not here to predict when the game is gonna pop in the conference, but it's gonna be there. But hopefully we get some more info on the game's story or dragon gameplay because we don't really know anything. But I guess we do know that the game was supposed to have some kind of multiplayer. I just hope that we get some kind of juicy info on this game, especially since it was delayed until next year. Just a final note on it, I pray this game is optimized better than last year because last time we saw it, it was dropping so much frames. Like, it was rough. I couldn't help but think that the game was not ready to be shown, but Microsoft needed something to show last year. So moving right along, of course we're gonna hit that part of the conference where we're just gonna like chill out for a bit and like the games that are shown they're just eh, okay. I'm of course talking about the part of the conference where we'll see Battlefield World at War, I mean Battlefield 1. <laughs> Don't kill me. Since you guys already know Sony's gonna have Call of Duty unlock at their conference, it's pretty much a no-brainer to expect Battlefield at Microsoft's. In their presentation of course we'll get like a multiplayer match demo or a story mode segment. And I wouldn't dismiss the chances of Microsoft just kind of stuffing a new Forza game right after Battlefield. You know, just to combat Sony's Gran Turismo game. Hold up, is there a new Gran Turismo announced? I don't know. As for my next prediction, I kind of expect to see Cuphead sneak into the conference in some kind of way. Or I guess it's better to say I hope it does sneak into the conference. I don't know, there's something about the game, it's really charming to me. As an animator, I, I can appreciate the work and style the devs put into the game. Heck, Microsoft bringing up Cuphead could signal a chance for them to resurrect the Summer of Arcade. I feel that Cuphead could be a great flagship title for that, though that might just be wishful thinking. Another game I'm sure will have its time on stage is Crackdown 3. I was never a fan of the series myself, but I won't pretend like the demand for this game from its fans wasn't there. I will say that their showcase last year did pique my interest. Like I really want to see if they kept up with that promise of everything being 100% destructible, or was it just bullshit? Alright, I think I covered all of my realistic predictions for Microsoft's conference, but now let's get a little loosey-goosey and get a little creative with our predictions and move on to the final prediction. So to be honest, after sitting for a bit, I really couldn't come up with any crazy ideas for Microsoft's show, besides maybe two things. One, being a brand new Banjo-Kazooie game. I know a lot of fans have been clamoring for a new installment of the series since Microsoft pretty much handed the franchise a knife called Nuts and Bolts to slit its own throat with, but with ukulele on on the horizon, I'm not too sure how likely a new banjo game would actually be. 
As for my second prediction, which is pretty out there too, I have a little bit of faith in this one, even though it has a pretty low chance of it actually happening. I predict that Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 HD Remix will be announced for Xbox One. I'm not too sure if the new 2.8 that's coming out in December will also get a release, but I'm pretty sure that we will see the two Kingdom Hearts games that I stated before. For those of you who don't know, Kingdom Hearts' console games have now gone multi-plat with Kingdom Hearts 3. I feel that Kingdom Hearts 3 coming to a console that doesn't have the original numbered games doesn't make much sense, especially if those games were already re-released for current gen hardware. Yeah, games have had franchises cross platforms without the rest of their franchise coming along too, but I feel Kingdom Hearts as heavy as a story experience it is, Square has no choice but to fill in the crowd they've already expanded to on what happened so far, you feel me? Now for my final prediction, which I think will be Microsoft's closing game for E3 2016, ReCore will make its appearance once again. Of course we won't get a release date or anything crazy like that because Kenji and Afune will find some way to delay it. my condolences to the Mighty Number no. 9 backers. But I think this time we will actually get a good decent look at the game, perhaps even gameplay. If Microsoft were to save this for last, I feel like this is one of their games they want to make a killer IP or maybe a franchise out of. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel that this game has potential. This might be a console pusher. But that's pretty much it for my predictions. I'm sure I missed out something pretty obvious, so if I did, make sure you guys tell me down below. Also, while you're at it, tell me what you guys are predicting too. I'd love to read them. Also, just FYI, I didn't mention the HoloLens or the new console shenanigans because I want to focus the predictions on the video games, just so you guys know. But it's your boy AG. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, if you're feeling generous, hit that sub button too. I really appreciate it. But other than that, stay golden, guys. And I'll catch you guys next video. Later. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.